We got that smoke. Team 3D have decided who they're facing at against all odds, and it turns out they, they do not. not <laughs> Team 3D have decided who they're facing at against all odds and it turns out that they do not want a shot at the NWA World Tag Team titles. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling for your TNA February the 4th 2006 review. We kick it off with Team 3D. They are out here to make an important announcement. They put it up for the fans. They said they would let the fans vote on who they're going to face at against all odds. Would they face Team Canada, who have they've been in a minor feud with Team Canada, who are jobbers, or would they face America's Most Wanted, the team that hold the NWA World Tag Team titles? The that's the same tag team titles that the Dud. Please. What's up, we? You're not doing anything for helping me here, man. Because well, I need to fucking see the screen. No, you don't. I you do. fucking don't. What are you doing? Looking at the screen. I'm, I'm the comma caller. You're the, just the guy. Fucking turn it around. Fucking turn it around. <sighs> what was the last thing you said? There, I must tell you again. Fucking stop Shh. talking passion. Let's just get into right. this. Team 3D have decided who they're facing against all odds, and it will not be the World Tag Team Champions. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling for your TNA 2006 February the 4th review. We kick off the show with Team 3D. Last week, they gave the fans, they gave us the option of deciding which team they would challenge at against all odds. Would they take on Team Canada, who are jobbers and they have a minor feud with, or would they take on the NWA World Tag Team Champions, America's Most Wanted? Well, considering the Dudley spoke about how prestigious the NWA Tag Team titles are, and that they would trade all 18 of their previous World Tag Team titles for one title reign with the NWA Tag Team titles, you'd obviously think that the Dudleys, Team 3D, Brother Ray, Brother Devon, that they would choose America's Most Wanted because they want to win the Tag Team Championships. But no, they've took on Team Canada. They want to face Team Canada. For what reason? I have no fucking idea. But yeah, we're not getting the rematch. We're not getting Team 3D versus America's Most Wanted. We're getting Team 3D versus Team Canada in a match that we know Team 3D will win against all odds. I don't understand this whatsoever. The fans knew what had to be done. They voted for it, though. They wanted it. Well, this would be like giving Christian the choice of facing Jeff Jarrett or Monty Brown, and he chooses Monty Brown. Racism from Christian Cage. I mean, why wouldn't you fucking face the guy that's got the belt? The belt that you said you wanted. You know, I think it's a disgrace the Dudleys have not got the belt shit. I'm sorry. That that whole shenanigans at the pay-per-view of where they won <laughs> and they tried to say they didn't win. The referee had shit in his eyes and he couldn't see who he was pinning for. So he couldn't see who was making the pin, but he could see that someone's shoulder were down for three seconds. I mean, what? A, what a, I mean, I understand they were going for a screwy finish, like, but come on. <laughs> they're screwy and then they're shite. <laughs> so, uh, the War Machine Rhino defeated Kenny King. To nobody's surprise, honestly. Who is Kenny King? Some black I, I, guy. I couldn't, I couldn't put a, a name to a face, I think. Uh, <laughs> we've got an interview with Terry Taylor and Larry Sabisco, also Austin Aries and Roderick Strong, and the Naturals were backstage. Sabisco talked about the pressure of being the director of Authority. Um, he's upset that Sting is retiring. Austin Aries and, and Strong come in and Austin Aries was wearing a gay biker outfit. Remember that? Aye, I do remember that. They want they want Sabisco to use them more than actuals come in. They want to be used more. So it turns out we're going to get these two teams competing against each other. Larry Sabisco sets up a four-team tournament with the winners facing America's Most Wanted against all odds. Why we're in this tournament? Because it turns out the Dudleys didn't want a title shot. Is that not mad, though? So now four jobber teams, one of these teams is going to get a shot at the so-called most prestigious world titles in the world because the Dudleys didn't want them. I mean... Garbage. Based on what happened to the Dudleys at the last paper few, they should be getting an automatic rematch. Automatic? They should be getting the fucking belts after what happened. Uh, next match, AJ defeated Jay Lethal. Samoa Joe watched from the stage with the bloody towel. I mean, Samoa This Joe. gimmick is awful. Down, 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 down. 
He was watching AJ like he was a cheeseburger or something, but who cares? One man cheeseburger apocalypse. Uh, we then get an interview with Terry Taylor, Team Canada, and Gail Kim. Not a lot happening here. Scott DeMore predicted that Team Canada would win the tournament and face America's Most Wanted. I guess this keeps the the belts within this little faction the here. The Gail Kim comes in and she, she's heard that uh, she's heard the audio tape that Jackie Guerra gave her last week and she's panicking about their job. Scott Demore says he's got it all under control and if he doesn't then they'll all be fired. I mean, what could possibly be on this tape? What dirt could Jackie Guerra possibly have on everybody involved here that they would all get fired if that news got out? I mean, I, I honestly have no idea. You know what's crazy about this? So it's like the fact they're discussing it in an interview. Surely if it's that bad, you wouldn't even be an acknowledging it exists. Yeah. Like, this was where this should be, like, a scene where it's, the, it's they're being filmed against their will and they don't know. Like the F you or something? Aye, uh, this just doesn't... I don't get this, but here, TNA doesn't make a lot of sense. Does it, guys? Come on Tag in. Tag team tournament here, round ho, ho. one. Very Taylor, t t Terry Taylor heavy. <laughs> Big Terry Taylor's getting a push tonight, boys. Uh, Tag team title tournament round one. Sanjay Dutt and Chris Sabin defeated Team Canada. So that's Team Canada out. Sanjay Dutt... The same Team Canada that the Dudleys are going to take on. Sanjay Dutt and Chris fucking... Well, actually, I don't think it's those two members. I think I, it's, but it's still Team Canada. No, yeah, it is. Did the, the Dudleys go, I we want those two. I want that one. <laughs> well, no, but I'm going to... I'm assuming the Dudleys are taking on Bobby Roode and fucking maybe Eric Young. Nah, something like that. Well, I doubt it would be these two guys that just lost. Anyway, Sanjay Dot and Chris Saban, what a shite tag team. They had fans to the next round. Another interview with Terry Taylor, AJ Styles and Daniels. I don't know why Terry Taylor's getting all these um, interview times. AJ and Daniels have a confrontation about Daniels costing them the match last week, throwing in the towel. So yeah, uh, that happened. Six-man tag match, Conan, Homicide and Apollo. Homosexual. Defeated Bruce Steele, Rod Steele and Frankie Capoue. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Bruce Steele, Ace Steele and Frankie Capoue. No, Rod Steele. All oh, right, Rod. Who the fuck is Bruce Steele and Rod Steele? Look at the Steele brothers and <laughs> Frankie Capoue. <laughs> no, Capone. Capone, all right. Frankie Capone. Um, Capoue. I mean, Capoue, Capone, does it fucking matter? We then got a press conference with uh, a tape press conference, Mike Tenay, Larry Sabisco, Dory Funk Jr., Jeff Jarrett and Christian um, just basically insulting each other and talking about the upcoming world title match. Um, and then to end the I put Hulk Hogan out of business. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the main event was Austin Aries and Roderick Strong versus the Naturals. And Austin Aries and Roderick Strong defeated the Naturals. So by my calculations, either Austin Aries and Roderick Strong or Sanjay Dutt and Chris Sabin will be taking on America's Most Wanted for the most prestigious tag team titles in and the we business. Could, we could have had the Dudleys. Could have, should have, would have. Yeah, um, Scott Damore and Gail Kim came down and asked Alex Shelley, who had a video camera at ringside because he was filming the action, to help them with something. So I don't know if they want to film something, and that's why they're getting they're Alex Shelley. Film anything but this show. We go backstage with Jeff Jarrett and his crew. Jeff Jarrett is now hired Alex Shelley to investigate Jackie Gaeda. He needs to get dirt on her. So because this guy carries a camera to ringside, he's the only guy that can do this. He needs to go undercover. He needs to investigate Jackie Gaeda. And he needs to try and get some information on Jackie Gaeda so she can't use the information that she has on Jarrett, um, Damore, and everyone in Team Canada and America's Most Wanted and all that shit. So um, that was it. Damore says to Jeff Jarrett, this is going to work. Jeff Jarrett and Gail Kim start freaking out. Everybody's arguing. Eric, Eric Young's just standing there looking nervously into the camera and he goes, do you hear that? Sting's not gone. Uh, well, the fewer's off, son. So, I mean. <laughs> what the fuck did this have to do with Sting? Randomly out the blue, this guy, Eric Young just looked into the camera and said, Sting's not gone. Don't get it. Um... I, I can't take this fact as serious, man. Like, when would when would a member of Evolution be like, do you hear that? Goldberg's back. He's not <laughs> gone. He's not fucking gone. Oh, if that's the case, would they not tell the other three members? Here, Troops, I think Goldberg is back. You know, It's like, what the fuck is happening here? It, it's mid-card, say. If I this was a very weak show, I'm not going to lie. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10, and I feel like I'm being very generous. I think we've been lied to our entire life. I think wrestling just fucking sucks. <laughs> right, was wrestling ever good? Ah, uh, wrestling was good. Fucking this pish. TNA started really strong. I don't know what's happened. It's just... 
It's going to get better. I got a whiff of some old Joe's eight month old tiles and fucking wanted to call it a night. Anyway, I'm giving it a 2 2. It was shite. 2 2. The matches, two, like, two, what, what, no, just look at the matches, right? War, Rhino defeats Kenny King. AJ defeats Jay Lethal. Two, two, two squash matches. And then look at the tournaments. Two tournaments before job or tag teams. And then we get the, pound, the shit version of LAX defeating. Bruce Steele, Rod Steele, and Frankie Capone. I mean, what the heck? I mean, what? Who are on chucks? He's got the blackjack. I can't even tell you who the, half of these guys are. Anyway, guys, that's it. Two out of ten. We'll catch you in the next one. Bean Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching. And peace.